We are speaking on behalf of the residents. We will be doing pros and cons. So some pros that they'll have nice dark skies. You can go on nice daytime walks or nighttime walks. Um, animals might be in your garden. Moths in your room. Hard to sleep. And like, um, light pollution makes you feel a bit sad and on that it can be killing animals. We are representing the visiting stargazers group. Here is a couple of our ideas for the dark skies part. If wet outside, then a planetarium shows available. A very nice outdoor trail presenting the best um, sky as points. Campsite so stargazers can study and stay longer. The live 360 cameras connected to a VR room. A space team zero gravity dome with space-like environments, so basically a space simulator. And um, the answer to our question, and our question was, what is special about a dark sky park? It was helps preserve a dark, the dark skies because they're rapidly decreasing, and it helps nocturnal animals as well because sometimes they're coming out in the day and they're getting really confused. We are then the lighting and divine engineers. Are the use of the park. There should be no unfriendly lights for stars and animals. All lights should be facing down with um, and tinted and shielded. There must not be any water, near any water. Um, and then for the building, it should be a big building with an opening roof and then telescopes pointing off to see stars. And then it should be dark all around it with a few lights inside. Great. What's special about a dark sky park? The dark sky park is special because it's an eco-friendly place with no bright lights. Why a dark sky is important for nature. Dark skies are important for nature so we can protect animals. What is special about Mayo, Mayo's dark skies? No, um, no, well, very little light pollution and uh, you can see the stars in most areas. How can we protect our night skies? We can protect our night skies by letting people know about them. The conservation ranges. We need to protect the, anim the animals because they can get attracted to the street lights and that can kill them. Don't build houses near the forest because it can destroy their habitat. Make sure that the lights are red or orange and are facing down and they're necessary. This is Michal from Rungala National School. During Space Week, we had a lovely presenta Zoom presentation from Ballycroy National Park and Mayo Dark Skies. We, ha we learned lots about nocturnal animals, constellations and dark skies. Here are some of our ideas for a dark sky park. And I hope you enjoy. My name is Kira. As in if there's too much light pollution, the sky is unclear and foggy, and you can't see the stairs in constellation. But in Ballycroy, we have lovely clear skies with, li with very little light pollution. My name is Lorcan. In a dark sky park, the light needs to be shielded and facing down so we can protect our very natural night skies. Hi, I'm Alicia. Visiting stargazers to our dark sky park would need food and hot drinks and accommodation. Hi, I'm Michael. Stargazers would need stargazers would need telescopes and a, and to see the stars and constellations and a planetarium would be a great addition to the dark skies. I'm Michal and we have done a lot of studying on nocturnal animals and we've even featured them in our art. Uh, when you go looking for nocturnal animals, you should always bring a. Uh, um, a red light, light torch to not scare and dazzle the animals. Hi, I'm me. To protect moths at night, uh, turn off your lights and close your windows because uh, the moths are attracted to the artificial light and they lose a lot of energy and die. And die. Uh, moths need to be out in the natural moonlight to, in the environment at night.
Local, hi, my name is Raymond. Local residents could train as guides to take visitors around a dark by park. Hi, my name is Rory. Local residents could use their knowledge of of the area to to be employed, and they could and they could provide transport, and we could build. Build, we could build signs that with maps of the park on them, and we could and we could um sell sell maps of the park themselves. We can protect our night skies by turning off the lights that we don't need and need to check your lights to make sure that they're positioned properly so that they're not causing light pollution. And you need to make sure that lights are turned downwards and reduce the use of LED lighting because that causes five times more sky glow than an orange light. Get your local authorities not to put up any new lights in dark sky areas. Make sure to light. Make sure to make sure that your lights aren't too harsh, and do not overlight an area. Dark skies are important for nature, so no nocturnal animals can come out at night, and they can hunt for food, such as badgers, bats. And sometimes we can hear the leafless bats, and bats can eat the moth, and the badgers can eat earthworms, and they can sometimes eat 200 a night. Winter birds can be seen on the Clagan Trail. Winter birds only come down at the shore to find and eat sand toppers. Winter birds only come out at winter and when it's dark and they fly up in the sky. They can fly up in the sky and they can use the sky like a map and go to an adept place. Hale's dark skies are one of the darkest skies in the world. It is fantastic for our local nature and for the survival of nature in their natural habitat. It is very unique because we can see the stars and planets so clearly. Sometimes we can even see the northern lights. Mayo Dark Sky, we have a visitor centre in Ballycroy and the Robert, Robert Lloyd Parker Centre in Meath and to give us in, more information. Mayo Dark Sky creates employment through tourism. What Maisie means is that when tourists comes to our dark, male dark skies, they can avail activities such as fishing, sailing, cycling and Staircasing. Looking at the light pollution map, I understood how much street lights, security lights can affect the sky. If you live in cities, you can see up to 
eight to ten stairs. If you live in Mayo, you can see up to hundreds of stairs on a clear night. Light pollution makes me feel upset because some people don't realise the beauty of the night sky. We can see that beauty so clearly. Light pollution also makes me feel sad because some people cannot sleep from street lights starting because they are too bright. Light, light pollution makes me feel angry. Light can kill an off animals. If the light is too bright, animals can die. If, the, if, the, if there's too much light, they can't function, they will die.